and welcome back to another Lego video. Today I am doing a, a, a review on the entire Lego minifigures Halloween edition set because I've just finished collecting every single one of them. A lot of money. And yeah, so we're going to start off with the gargoyle. Now this guy was like one of the first I... Give me a minute. One of the... Give me a minute. God damn it. So here is the gargoyle. Now my now this was one of the first uh, um, minifigures I got. Now it's pretty good. I love the wings, but I love if it just like holds some it. But I guess the the upside the upside for it is it's a very good building decoration. Like I'm planning to make a giant haunted mansion out of these. I'm planning to put because I've got a duplicate of them. I'm planning to put two of them on the side of the mansion. So yeah, let's move on to the next one anyway. Okay, guys. So this is the Frankenstein. This is like the third to last one I got. Now the thing I like about him is he's got he's got a pun on his back. I don't know if you can read that. It says shock and roll because it's Halloween. Um, you can't really see the writing too much. I'm sorry. Um, um so yeah. Um, he's pretty good. He's got. I love like you can take off his head, so he's so he's a bold Frankenstein. Hello, and then there's his head. <laughs> but um, yeah, generally this is another cool one. I love the guitar. And yeah, let's move on to the next one. Right, okay, moving on to one of my favourites now, this is the Plant Man. Um, now, this one, it's probably, from, probably got the best the idea in Little Shop of Horrors, but it's really, really good. Like, this head, oh god damn it, wiggly camera. Like, I've never ever seen the head before. Um, so, the, um, like, give me my, ah! Uh, God damn it, stupid camera, right, I think I've fixed it, so this is the plant man, and the head, this thing here, just makes it awesome, he, like, um, because if you get a duplicate of that, you could make like a giant plant, I've got a few good ideas in mind for my duplicates, and anyway, let's move on to the next one, can you spot the next one for you, no, it's pretty obvious, who cares, it is the wolf, now another good, good, good one. Like the head is not like a general wolf one. It's like more textured and stuff. Do you see that? I don't think you can. I think my hands too close. God damn it! And um, the bone as well makes it pretty funny. Like an inside joke because he's a dog. And the tail on the back of him. The tail is also another nice part. To, um, so yeah, let's move on to the next one, which is the uh, Rattling Chain Ghost. Now, this is a very good one because of the face, which is glow in the dark. Unfortunately, I can't show that because my because my camera sucks. But I like. But another thing I like is the uh, body, is the uh, legs, um, which is really cool. Which are really cool because. Only two characters, this person and the other, and my other favourite one, which um, which is quite cool actually. So the next one is the Spider Woman. Uh, I love the cape on her back. The webbed cape is probably the best part about her, and the um, like the the like triangular legs, the slope legs, and the um, spider. She she's really cool. And the big hair, I have a duplicate of her as well, so, yeah, not much to say about her. Now the witch, the wicked witch is a very good piece. It um, comes with a cat, who doesn't like cats, black cats, um, and the uh, wrapping around her legs, and the um, hat, and I just think it's generally cool, so... This was actually the last one I got. The last minifigure. It took me forever to find her. And yeah, let's move on to the Catwoman, my least favourite in the series. Like, seriously, a, a woman who's a cat. Serious. Or is it like a circus person? I don't really know. If it's a reference, tell me in the comments because I really don't know. 
but I guess it's like a trick or treat or something like Halloween costume, I don't know. But the only thing I really like about her is her hair, really, because her hair is pretty cool. And the whip. Who doesn't like whips? And the tiger tail. Okay, she's pretty good. The tail and everything. Right, time for her. More, probably most people's favourites, the fly. The fly is probably everyone's favourite. Um, the um, standing head here and the wings um, and the the hands. His hand is like a claw. Um, another really good one that they must have spent ages, a lot of time and effort creating and moulding. But their time and effort went to whatever went to something. Um, so yeah, next one we have the. Uh, business zombie or the Harry Potter zombie as my grandma calls it. In fact, is that Harry Potter? I don't know. Kind of looks like it. Um, no, it's, I think it's like a worker or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, this was another of the first four I got. Um, his newspaper, it says brains on it, of course. This thing's always getting lost and always dropping off his hands. Really annoying. And the suitcase... You can uh, open claws, but mine's broken. My suitcase is broken, so you can't like lift it, uh, open and closed. But yeah, this one is um, really cool. Again, um, so that's another duplicate of the spider lady. So we're not going to show her. We're going to show Chewbacca or Bigfoot because he's holding a camera. Now, if you don't know, Bigfoot's like this like guy in the mountains or somewhere. People believe he's real, some people don't. And he's got a camera. See? Because people like to video him. Um, and like the Chewbacca head. No, it's not a Chewbacca head. Like, this head that's got a lot of texture on it. Apart from that, I don't really see much coolness in him. He's really, he's actually kind of cool though. Right. But we move on to the scientist, the mad scientist. This one was really cool because you can take his head off and it's like a grandpa head. And then you put on his second part and now he's awesome. Um, and the portion as well, the additional portion. I have another one of these somewhere. Oh, here it is. This one here looks nothing like that. Um, and yeah, yeah, again, it's an amazing... Uh, character to have another one of my personal favourites and yeah so we'll move on to the in fact let's save my favourites to last if people know the minifigures they'll probably know when they find out right so this the cheerleader here oh uh -huh. they all oh god I better not sing that because uh, I might get copyrighted god damn it um, so uh, there's the cheerleader here I love the pom-poms, apart from that, meh, meh. This was like one of the ones I found like midway, like just by luck, not asking at the Lego store to uh, shop, to uh, to feel for them, because they can do that. But anyway, moving on to the zombie pirate, another favourite, I love like almost all of these, because um, there's quite a few reasons actually. The first one is his like hat. Because you can add like a feather to it, but I don't really have a feather to show how it works. And the beard, and the hook as a hand, and the sword. Like, and the peg leg. Seriously, yet again, a lot of time and effort gone into this that has been worth it. And it's just amazing that they've done this. But anyway, let's move on to the... The, uh, the skeleton, the one before the last one. So if you guys know, I mean, if you guys know the minifigures well, you know the, what my favourite one is. So skeleton, I really like this one because of the trick or treat bag. If he didn't have the trick or treat bag, he'd be one of the bad ones, to be honest. Like, it's just really cool because it's like a pumpkin. Meh, cover up the camera. Cover up the camera. And, um,. Yes, yeah, so that's another cool one. Yeah. Covering up the camera. See the uh, spooky head? The spooky treat basket. And it's a person dressed up as a skeleton. 
can like just see the outline of his eyes. And oh god, the pumpkin's been broken. The pumpkin has been broken. Send the alarms. Send the alarms. Okay, time on to, on to the final one, which is the mermaid ghost thing. Kind of looks like a mermaid anyway. To me it does. Like something from the sea. And um, this one, I liked her for one specific reason. Her crazy hairdo. Who doesn't like a giant ball of fluff placed upon someone's head? Who doesn't? I swear, if someone's going to comment down in the comments, I don't like crazy hair dudes, then you don't have a soul. Because, like, look at that crazy hair. Seriously, and then her awesome legs yet again. Like, not even legs, like, just, like, floaty thing. Now, this is a very cool thing, and, yeah. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick, like, well, not quick, this video um, reviewed on the Halloween minifigures. And if you did enjoy, um, please do leave a like and subscribe. And, yeah, guys, see you later.